I've had it with Monday Night Raw. I, 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 I've had it. I literally just got home, and I freaking look at the Raw results because I want to. And I freaking read what exactly happened. And you know what? I, I'm freaking sick of it. I, I literally am sick of Monday Night Raw. Sick of Monday Night Raw. I'm sick of their bullshit. It's just coming beyond a joke on what they're doing with this freaking show. I mean... It, 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 it's starting to really start to piss me off seeing what was on this show. I didn't even watch any of it. I just looked up the whole thing. And that is enough to tell me what happened on the show. Pictures and results are enough to tell you something. I mean, once again, Alexa Bliss beats the shit out of Bailey. What does that mean? Oh, Bailey's gonna win the title back at Extreme Rules to to freaking combat the bully Alexa Bliss. Oh, the Hardy Boys beat Sheamus and Cesaro again. What does that mean? Oh, the Hardy Boys are gonna beat Cesaro and Sheamus again. Roman Reigns won against Seth Rollins. And there was and, and there was supposed to be some kind of triple threat. Joe won that. He won a triple threat match between Balor and Wyatt. Uh, I, I mean, and Elias Samson. He he goes from having an intercontinental title match to 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 fight a jobber named Zach Evans. Rich Swan. Here's a here's another thing. Sasha Banks is now having a mixed tag match with Richard Swan to take on Alicia Fox and Noam Dar. Why is Noam Dar in all of this? It's supposed to be Sasha and Alicia. This whole feud was supposed to be about Sasha and Alicia, not Sasha, Alicia, Noam Dar. Are you kidding me? This is the most Pointless thing I have ever seen. And I didn't even see any of it. Looking up the results is enough to piss me off. And what I read. Seriously. I don't care if you love Monday Night Raw. Well, actually, if you love Monday Night Raw, you would think it's a great show. You would think everything makes sense. You think Roman being untouchable makes perfect sense. You think Sasha randomly getting a tag team partner, which she shouldn't, makes sense. Because no one da was getting in Sasha's face. Who cares? Who cares? It's supposed to be Sasha and Alicia. Feud. This is the most... Stupidest thing. And now Goldust and our truth are having a match at Extreme Rules. Ooh. Ooh. Like I'm supposed to be excited for that one. Like I'm supposed to be excited for that. And like I'm supposed to be excited for this Sasha Banks Rich Swan. Stupid mixed tag team bullshit. When it really shouldn't be a mixed tag match. It should be Sasha versus Alicia in a one-on-one -on -one match. Sure, if you wanted someone to watch over Sasha Banks, then fine. Add Rich Swan. Add a Cedric Alexander. Fine. Do that. But you don't need to put them in as her partner just because you want to. It's the most stupidest and the most pointless thing in WWE. And I don't give a shit if... If you love Sasha or you hate Sasha, if you look at this logically, you should know it's a dumb decision. I don't care if people loved Raw tonight. I honestly don't care. Why should I even watch Monday Night Raw? I already, I already looked up the results. 
and, 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 and reading up the results alone is enough to tell me that Extreme Rules is going to be once again predictable. Enzo Mori was attacked again. Oh no. Poor Enzo Amore. He's attacked again. Aries and Galahar beat Neville and Perkins. What does this mean? Oh, Neville's going to win now. Neville is going to win. Neville is going to win. All because Austin Aries beat him again on Monday Night Raw. Give me a break. Give me a freaking break. Elias Sampson beats Zach Evans like I give a shit. Titus O'Neil and Kalisto. Why are Kalisto and Titus O'Neil having a fight? Oh, all because oh, all because Titus O'Neil got upset that Apollo Crews couldn't beat him. Get out of here. You out of your freaking mind. And Ambrose and the Hardy Boys beat Miz and Cesar and Sheamus. Oh, well, the Hardy Boys are gonna win again. What's the point? The Hardy Boys are gonna are gonna beat Cesaro and Sheamus for like for like the what tenth time? I mean, seriously, whatever happened to the rule to whoever has the most momentum heading into a pay per view loses? I bet if the Hardy Boys win, I bet if the Hardy Boys win, I guarantee you they will have Bailey beat Alexa, and if that happens. I am shitting on 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 extreme rules. Even though I'm not going to review the whole thing, I'll probably come on here and talk about the results that I read up, that I looked up, I should say, not read up, that I looked up. And if I see, I swear, I freaking swear to God, if they have the high boys beat Cesaro and Sheamus again, and if they have Bailey beat Alexa Bliss. I am going to be freaking pissed. I swear. I will be. Because the rules, from, from, from what I learned from the rules, whoever has the most momentum, no matter who you are, whoever has the most momentum heading into a pay-per-view, nine times out of ten, they Lose. So yeah, it would make sense for Alexa Bliss to lose. But why would you want to have the Hardy Boys beat Cesaro and Sheamus for like the tenth or fifteenth time, and then then they had all the momentum heading into the pay per view, and have Bailey go over Alexa Bliss? What does that tell you? That WWE doesn't give a shit. I am done. With Monday Night Raw. I seriously am done with Monday Night Raw. And I am done with their bullshit. I'm done. I literally am done. This is why I prefer SmackDown Live over Raw. Because SmackDown is not stupid. Now I know people are going to say, Oh, but Jinder Mahal had all the momentum heading in to Backlash. Why aren't you mad at that? Well... Okay, I was angry that Jinder Mahal won, but here's the thing, it's SmackDown. SmackDown, you know, it's called the Land of Opportunity, right? Land, Land of Opportunity? They're just giving Mahal his opportunity. That's all it is. Monday Night Raw is the, the land of stupidity and the land of predictability. That's what Monday Night Raw is, the land of predictability and the land of... We don't care what the fans think. That's what Monday Night Raw is. That's what Raw, that's what Raw is. Raw is garbage. Raw is a piece of shit. And I do not give a shit what anyone tells me. With the talents of Ambrose, Miz, Joe, Bella, Wyatt, Bliss... Bailey, Sasha, Neville, Ares, Seth, Reigns, etc. etc. 
Monday Night Raw still can't put on a good show. If anyone says to me that this show is good, or if it was great, or if it was the best show that they've ever seen, I swear to God, I swear I would, I would just rant on you. Or more importantly, I would call you a dickhead. I would call you a moron. Only casual fans enjoy seeing this type of piece of shit on their television. Because with Enzo Amore being attacked again, the, the casual fans will be like, Oh no, Enzo Amore is attacked again. Who, in, who, who is responsible for all this? Yeah, my brother told me Big Cass was the one is the one that's attacking Enzo Amore. That's just what he thinks. But only time will tell. You know what? I'm I'm stopping here. I've had enough. I've had enough of Monday Night Raw. I've had enough of Monday Night Raw's bullshit. I've just had a frick enough. I've just had enough. It pisses me off. I've had enough. And if I swear, if I was watching this show. And, and if I reviewed it after, you would have heard me rant on the show just like I am right now. And because I'm on work placement, I can't watch it. Okay? I'm ending this video. I'll see, I'll talk to you another time.